In 2017, I received a tracheostomy tube and was started on invasive ventilation. In 2018, I was in the hospital for a procedure on my pancreas when a bacteria called Pseudomonas entered my lungs. Unfortunately, in people with tracheostomy tubes, Pseudomonas is extremely hard to get rid of. Antibiotics are given, but then the bacteria hides in the airways and goes dormant. The bacteria is never completely killed off. From time to time, it flares up and causes an infection. I get sick with Pseudomonas pneumonia one to three times per year. Pseudomonas requires intravenous antibiotics. My old doctor used to require me to go to the emergency department and get admitted to the hospital to receive IV antibiotics. However, this is extremely dangerous. Having a tracheostomy tube and using a ventilator makes me very susceptible to hospital-acquired infections. Many times, I would come to the hospital for treatment for pseudomonas pneumonia and would leave the hospital with a different bacterial pneumonia. The next idea was to get IV antibiotics from an infusion company. Thankfully, I have a permanent IV line called a PIC line, which I use to receive IV nutrition called TPN. So getting IV medicine delivered to my home was possible because I already have an IV line. The medicine would arrive at my home in an easy pump or in a syringe. I simply had to connect the medicine to my IV line and infuse it. However, getting medicine through the infusion company requires a lot of paperwork. Many times, the paperwork was not filled out correctly by my doctor's office. I would have to wait up to three weeks for the IV medicine. Last year, my new doctor came up with a different plan. The IV medicine I use is called Miropenem. It can be ordered from a regular pharmacy such as CVS or Walgreens. My doctor submits the prescription to the pharmacy. The pharmacy orders the medicine and in about one day, I have the vials of powdered medicine. In order to use the medicine, I have to mix the powder with either sterile water or saline. I currently have pneumonia and need to use meropenem to get rid of my infection. So let me show you how I set up my IV medicine. The very first thing I do is set out all the supplies on a clean towel. I will need a vial of the meropenem, two saline flushes, several alcohol wipes, and two needles which fit on the saline flushes. Next, I thoroughly wash my hands with soap and water. I then open a saline flush. I loosen the cap. Next, I pull down on the syringe to break the airlock. I then advance the syringe to push out any air which may be in the syringe. I gently tighten the cap. I carefully set down the saline flush. I then repeat these same steps with the second saline flush. Next, I open up a package which has in it a syringe and needle. Since I only need the needle, I remove the needle from the syringe and discard the syringe. I then carefully remove the cap from the saline flush and screw on the needle. Once the needle is securely attached, I set down the saline flush. I then pick up the second syringe and needle and repeat the process of removing the needle from the syringe. I then remove the cap from the saline flush and attach the needle to the flush. When the needle is securely attached, I set down the saline flush. Next, I open an alcohol wipe. I then pop off the top of the meropenem vial. I scrub the top of the vial with the alcohol wipe. I then remove the cap on the needle and infuse the entire saline flush into the vial. I remove the needle from the vial and place the cap back on the needle and set down the empty saline flush. I then wipe off the top of the vial with an alcohol wipe. Next, I remove the cap from the needle on the other saline flush. I then infuse the saline flush into the vial. 
I removed the needle from the vial, placed the cap back on the needle, and set down the empty saline flush. I then wipe off the top of the vial with an alcohol wipe. I shake the vial to mix the saline with the powder. Once all the powder has dissolved in the liquid, I set down the vial and allow the solution to rest for about a minute. When the solution is clear, I wipe off the top of the vial with an alcohol wipe. I then remove the cap from the needle on one of the saline flushes. Turning the vial upside down, I push the needle into the vial. Due to the high pressure inside the vial, the liquid will fill the syringe on its own. When the liquid stops filling the syringe on its own, I pull down on the syringe stopper to allow the liquid to continue filling the syringe. I fill the syringe with about 11 milliliters of liquid. I then remove the needle from the vial. I set down the vial. I place the cap on the needle and set down the syringe. Next, I wipe off the top of the vial. I then pick up the other saline flush and remove the cap from the needle. I pick up the vial and flip it upside down. It is important to insert the needle on an angle to be able to get all the liquid out of the vial. I then pull back on the syringe. As the liquid enters the syringe, I carefully begin pulling the needle out of the vial to keep the end of the needle in the liquid. I place the end of the needle at the very bottom corner of the vial to get as much of the liquid medicine out as possible. Once as much liquid as possible is in the syringe, I withdraw the syringe from the vial. Carefully, I advance the syringe plunger to push out any air which may be in the syringe. Once all the air is out of the syringe, I place the cap back on the needle and set down the syringe. To infuse the antibiotic into my intravenous line, I open a saline flush, loosen the cap, break the airlock, and tighten the cap. I then open an alcohol wipe. Next, I unscrew the alcohol cap on the end of my IV line. I then clean the end of my IV line with the alcohol wipe. I twist off the cap on the saline flush and infuse the saline flush. Next, I wipe off the end of the IV line with the alcohol wipe. Then I disconnect the needle from the antibiotic syringe. I attach the syringe to the IV line. I then begin infusing the antibiotic very slowly. I infuse the antibiotic over the course of about 30 minutes. When the first syringe with the antibiotic is finished, I disconnect the syringe. Next, I wipe off the end of the IV line with the alcohol wipe. Then I disconnect the needle from the antibiotic syringe. I attach the syringe to the IV line. I then begin infusing the antibiotic very slowly. I infuse the antibiotic over the course of about 30 minutes. After infusing the antibiotic into my intravenous line, I thoroughly wash my hands with soap and water. I open a saline flush, loosen the cap, break the airlock, and tighten the cap. Next, I open a heparin flush, loosen the cap, break the airlock, and tighten the cap. I then open an alcohol wipe. I then twist off the antibiotic syringe from my IV line. I scrub the IV line with an alcohol wipe. I then twist off the cap on the saline flush and infuse the saline flush into my IV line. 
I then disconnect the saline flush. I wipe off the end of the IV line with an alcohol wipe. I then twist off the cap on the heparin flush and infuse the heparin. Next, I twist off the heparin. I wipe off the end of the IV line with the alcohol wipe. I then place an alcohol cap on the end of my IV line. That was a quick tutorial on how I set up my IV medicine called Miropenem. It is not very complicated and takes a little bit of skill. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.